and we're back uh with control the start of control a game i've been meaning to play for some time now and finally thought hey for spooktober makes i think a bit of sense um i think it's i think it's i don't think it's actually truly a spooky game in the classic sense but i think it's got some more spooky vibes maybe generally as spooky vibes as i would want to um as close to spooky vibes as i probably generally like to get to honestly my big baby self um but yeah a game that i know a lot of people actually really like i've been meaning to play it along uh, quite some time i do like that we, you know as we get through the month of october we kind of get more closer and closer to the spooky vibes type games um this will be the first of two new games started this week i think tomorrow we're gonna start the second new game but um and we might not get super deep into this we might it might be just like an hour or two um we'll see how long we can go but um yeah expect especially with control um quite a bit to be played here over this first week especially um probably i would expect like uh you know probably wednesday uh maybe not friday i'm gonna see we'll see how friday goes but especially this weekend heavy heavy amount of play of control um this weekend so um before if you're wondering i i know i know i don't know much about this this game in particular i don't know much um but i do know uh the the, the what's the team that makes this game they have like a like almost like a shared universe type um uh universe what is it this and the alan wake games and stuff i think are loosely taken place in the same universe or something like that i've never played an alan wake game i know even the most recent alan wake game people were really into um maybe someday i get to those i don't know but um yeah i think uh with all that said we should start start in start the thing like I said, I know a lot of people that actually, like, very much like this game. So let's see what it's about. Oh, we got to go into options, yeah? This is technically the Ultimate Edition, I think they called it, which I think just has the DLC things. If we choose, If we end up finishing the game and we like it enough, then we can do this small DLC offerings um trigger effect strength control the uh, sprint toggle on yeah toggle shield toggle launch toggle aim assists great controls i assume default's gonna be fine we'll fix that when we get in here brightness let me see what you guys see let me see what i see adjust the brightness until the left icon is not visible uh, you guys can see the icon quite a bit. I can see it slightly less. That's fine. We'll keep... What is graphics? Performance? Oh, here we go. 60 frame. Yeah. I would rather go 60 frames. If I'm being honest. Uh, how'd the run go? <sighs> Better than the one a couple days ago. So we take that victory. Interface, English. All right, we're good. We'll take it. It sucks I was talking about it, but like, uh, after the very bad one a couple days ago, I then played it the next day off stream, and I won the, uh, I did the run uh, quite handily. It was easy. So then it's, uh, so I must just suck on stream. I honestly think, it is that principle. It is that thing. I think I'm worse at video games once I turn them on on stream, which is fine. It's the it's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. But, like, when I fail at puzzles and stuff, it's only because I'm on stream. You know what I mean? That's the only reason. New game. <laughs> Performance. Uh, well, just... It's, it's had... Well... Common options. I 
forget. I mean, technically I'm wearing headphones, but I don't know if that fucks. I think it's if I'm doing the stream. That's whatever. Subtitles, yeah. Stream debuff. Exactly. Exactly. Even if there's no one, like, live watching to make fun of me, um, it's like, there's always, like, a live audience, like, in my head constantly anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I always, there's always, there's always the, the haters, you know what I mean? They just, the haters just exist in the ether. All right, let's see what control is all about. Actual slightly spooky game. Let's go. Fair warning. Oh, this is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. Here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that control I get my wiki. Up. Interesting. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. There, control, title drop. The room. Kind of. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. Hmm. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. How exciting. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? I actually know nothing about this game. Um, the only thing is I've seen like images where or something where she like she has like force powers. She like, holds out her hand and does things. But that's like all I've seen like once or twice. But I don't know. I don't know what it Hello? what it means. Anyone here? Oh, here we go. I, I I don't even know if I'm getting closer to like like Resident Evil survival horror like vibes or if I'm getting com complete like action vibes. I do like looking outside though. That's fun. Interesting. That makes me think that it has like some interesting. Is this gonna be an interesting game? Hopefully it's not super scary, dude. I I mean, here we go. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and complain, but man, if I'm just scared the whole time, ah, great. Unintentional on my part, if that's the case. What is this? Oh, something to read? Collectibles. Correspondence. That's funny. 
prohibited items. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatch, smartphones, smart gaming devices. Anything smart. <laughs> uh, number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Zoom in. Multimedia? Case files? Uh, this is one of those games with a ton of documents giving lore. Ah, then we're going to read it all. I've been doing it in uh, Cyberpunk. I can do it in this then. Like little beeps. Why the door just open, huh? Magic doors? Magic doors that just open? I assume we're, I'm not supposed to know who she is or why she's dropped in here, right? It's, what's that, what's that term I'm thinking of? Is it in media res or whatever the case where it's like, it will, it'll explain once we're in maybe or something. Okay, cool. New collectible, research bureau, staffing, surveillance, data center initiative, construction, redacted, redacted, ops equipment, janitorial costs, redacted, mold removal. Cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page five. For five year comparison charts, see page nine. Static TVs are spooky. Wait, does she have like big bags under her eyes? She's just like me, for real, for real. I also am always tired. <laughs> Constantly sleepy. I appreciate it. I respect it. It is like me. Oh, so you when you run, look at the camera zoom out. Bathroom. Here's hoping there's no jump scares. That's what I really don't want. That's uh, that's like, honestly, at the end of the day, the only thing I can hope for. No jump scares. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Can I crouch? Get in there. Crouch button. Wait, is there actually a window? Can't tell if that's, like, open or not. <laughs> the glass is too shiny. Look at this. Crackers, pretzels. All in just these white bags. It's weird. <laughs> I respect it though. Yeah, we're gonna be reading all the collectibles. We might as well. I'm interested. Attention all blanks. A shark in his blank although secure blank permission to blank bong basic protocol blank shoot to kill blank good luck good luck shadows are spooky <laughs> i'm just gonna list all the things that are spooky that pop up
Hello. As you should all know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting for them and a number of people. If you need an extension, please request from R4E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdimensional or interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly best the admin team. hear someone oh I see someone janitor random voices are spooky Hello? I think he's got headphones in hey excuse me There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Oh. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. Janitor, by the way. All right, Ahti. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, <laughs> there be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you called. I've done enough night okay. shift lower jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> no face. That's really good. That said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Oh, I already kind of like this presentation. Elevator. Wait, did we? Oh, that's really weird. I mean, it's like the same floor, or the same layout, but then the janitor painting got replaced with a... weird the strange and the poster I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster they told me I imagined it I've been trying to pull it down ever since will you help will I help sure I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Ah, uh, Sam Lake. I know that guy. Sam Lake. I know that guy. Okay. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. What is she doing? What is she planning? What's what's going on with this lady?
approved terminology reminder. When pending any notification of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrases to use in the service of his or her country, regret, proud, pride will be remembered. Word, phrase to avoid. Alaska. <laughs> Scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apology, sorry. Yeah, don't use, don't use Alaska. That's a good point. I don't ever want to talk about Alaska. Oh, it's non official. Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Yeah, Barbara. Get it together. Don't let them distract me. Barbara, this is critical. Director's office. Shit. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, look at the map. Pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake? What is happening? Disrespecting the dead. <laughs> and there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Huh. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? I have a feeling this is going to be a very trippy adventure. I have a feeling we're in for a a trippy time. Oh my god, I got a melee. Oh, melee the weird freak. The weird freak is menacingly walking towards you. Oh my god. That is an incredible melee. <laughs> yeah. I respect that melee. Oh, the gun's kind of cool. Oh, look at the gun. Look at the thing. Oh, that's cool. I always, like... God, I always am, like, a big fan of, like, when weapons have, like, a weird little 
like trait or thing about them i'm like like whether it's like a like a like a a a visual detail or like i've always i haven't played final fantasy 15 but i've always was i always loved the idea of like the fucking like the weapons all around the guy and they're just like he just like pulls them kind of like out of the air and they're just like i always just like cool concepts with like guns if that makes sense fuck these guys up in the head do they take head damage i just shoot them anywhere how do you reload reload so this weapon regenerates ammunition automatically okay so i can't automatically reload it's still it's a cool weapon Ah. I don't know if I'm doing more damage with the headshots. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, there's more. Oh, they also have weapons. I'm gonna get to see how good I am or not good with weapon shooting stuff. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive oh hell yeah I'm happy oh hell yeah <laughs> to be here <laughs> things have quieted down outside is it safe to go what are the question marks mean Yeah, I guess uh, I passed whatever, uh, whatever uh, test was needed. Oh! Out of here. Well, that's exciting. Alright, so what's this? Grip is rival, some automatic fire, empty slot, so it's like different weapons, some kind of mods of some sort, assets. Okay. Missions, and then back to collectibles here. So much is expected from the director of responsibility, the privilege. Just a, It's just a man. 
Here we go. Field research on HIS entity, HIS corrupted security guard. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The HIS was quick to take advantage of this fact. HIS guards use standard issue bullpup rifles they carry prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed per, uh, paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain HIS guards are protected by shielding of dense HIS resonance. Capable of stopping bullets, is their shielding a result of prolonged HIS corruption? HIS corruption. Does the HIS mature in organic ho excuse me, hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the HIS target individuals with combat training? Does the HIS have the level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts to task for tasks they best suited for or to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later. It's obvious that corrupt individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Vertifile blank for full report. Service weapon. No unique uh, procedures required. Objects forms are variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to blank. This object must only be bound by an individual seeking the role of blank. Object will determine whether blank, 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 blank. If rejected, the applicant is or terminated. This process is dictated by the blank, though the criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. Popular hypothesis, blank, many forms throughout history, blank, Milner, Excalibur, Bernastra, all weapons that blank of their wielders. If objects of power, the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, this may be the original manifestation of the event. If this is the case, blank. Yeah, like we, you know, role of director, stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Objects of power Let's watch it. can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fine. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Hmm. I assume I gotta go where that thing is. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline. Says the dead man. I don't think I'd do critical hits if I target the head or anything. There's a guy floating! <laughs> oh, fuck. I naturally want to, like, aim for the heads, though. Like, it's just, like, ingrained in, in me to slightly try to, like, pop him in the head. I don't know if I like these people that are just floating. Maybe I'm 
Maybe a bit more damage? Maybe. It's hard to tell. I can't tell if I'm just getting... Oh. It's close back on me. What was that? Uh, let's see. We checked the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. You need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate those field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're in route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Special Agent Keenum. Okay, so the question marks that aren't the yellow thing, they're just like room names that I'm filling in. So executive affairs, director's office back up there. I'm heading this way. There we go. <laughs> the hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. The hiss. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contained. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Big fan of random music. Oh boy. Take cover. Coming around. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. I wish I could look over my other shoulder here. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing. Get the health, get the health, get the health. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die this early. Outfits. Different outfits? Please talk to me. We saw you deal with a compromised agent. Um personnel mods. What is this? Oh, health boost. Yeah. Yeah. Weapon mods? Accuracy? 
Yeah. Materials. I don't know what these do. <laughs> Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials. It can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as a modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain blanks, informed by our own blanks, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially redacted in popular culture and redacted. Our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs the, that only occur on redacted, pair of scissors that consume human blank through two punctures on the blank. These details, I'm going to keep mixing up blanks and redacted. Uh, redacteds. Uh, these details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories of children. They're pre uh, paranatural realities waiting to happen. Spooky. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964. It's part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We're proud to serve the United States and our people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? <laughs> How'd you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem blank, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, then blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Is it safe to come out? Oh yeah, it's totally safe. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. <laughs> oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. <laughs> Emily Pope. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Do you know who did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... I can't uh, even. Look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. 
She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. All right, so there's some okay. weird... You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. I'm going to exercise this guy. <laughs> oh, reboot the devil! That's unfortunate. That's awkward. <laughs> uh, well, let's uh, not talk about that. This guy looks so dopey. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. As long as you try, at least. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but... This is maybe not the best comparison to do, but this reminds me how she's like talking to herself and stuff and has like came up with the HRAs, a different the resonance amplifiers. being she speaks with. I think they're what saved us. Reminds me of Deadly Premonition. Of us. <laughs> and Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Part of what scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Hesitate. 
to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. The hotline should be in the communications department. Oh, here we go. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. The oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the uh. astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, on there for a second. but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming hiss. Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began <laughs> analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. His behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Hmm. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Okay. Uh So I go up. So yeah, I would have to go back down, take I don't think there's like a Uh, what am I thinking about the game for now? Uh, it's interesting. It definitely has that, like, those, um... 
I can't just keep using the word spooky, but the unsettling vibes where, like, you're unsure of how... It's kind of like how you're unsure how grounded the game actually is, and then it's got, like, it's both its location and enemies and the characters, like, side characters we've met so far all give, like, a, vi a sense of, like, of, like, an unrealness to them. Um... That makes it all seem like everything's out of place. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. How was it that they wanted me to get out of here? I'll just run around until I find something. It's all good. I go to Executive Affairs Director's Office. I could go down. I, I kind of see a long way around that I can do. I feel like I'd want to keep the map up, but then if something pops up, I'm not going to be able to see it. Could end up getting myself into trouble. Wait, is this actually a, a way to go? That's what I was thinking. Based on... I don't think that's... I don't know what the undefined reading stuff is, but it's some kind of collectible of some sort. Bow, bow. Why did I just go around in circles? Yeah, I did. You bet you bet your sweet ass I did. So why did I think I could go around? Also, oh, you can. Look at this. Oh, you just have to press down to swap over shoulders. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, why couldn't you do it? Okay, let me do it like this. This is what we're going to do. I think uh, the map kind of looks funky, but I think you can go actually through. Yeah, there we go. There, It's hard to see because there's a there top layer on top of it. A welcome message. But there's a thing on... You can't, like, the bottom floor that you can't really see well. I failed to see. Also, it hiss. Let me in! Oh, I see people. Twice in the head. So yeah, I can go like this. That's nice. Every once in a while, a while we'll stop to read all the documents we picked up. I won't do it every time I pick it up. I think it's probably the best for us. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's there. Ah. It's, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Wait, I can't go here? Oh, it's draining my health. Okay, okay. Okay. Ah, my health.
Easy. Oh. Not my best move. Like a shield on or something? Ow. This isn't good. I can't see. It's so red. I'm. Ah. Uh, uh. Where do we think he went? Uh oh. I need help. Yep. I, I mean, red screen. Whatever I have to, because I have such a little health. I have to. Yes. No, what? No way, dude. What? Who shot me? My whole screen is red. I can't see anything. <laughs> no. No. All because I shot that fucking one again, thing. A welcome message. Oh, I didn't have to do that. All right. It's fine. Whatever. Do I have to re-pick up every collectible thing that I... No, these are all picked. Okay, that's good to know. Hi, dude. I thought I was being careful. There must have been someone at like a bad angle that got me that I wasn't looking at and not paid attention to. All right, I'm back. Don't worry about it. That one death doesn't count. Don't worry about it. Mm. 
the the simple rule here on this stream is if I die and I say it doesn't count, then it just uh, for whatever reason, then it just it doesn't. It's fine. It's erased. There we go, it's not so red here anymore. Rate of fire or recoil. recovery per element pickup I assume these are like upgrade materials or something all right first his agent uh his manifest in human hosts in numerous rays the most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. But his agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. Most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior, and only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters, or are they cocoons preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility, or undergoing a transformation to a purely resonant form. Question mark. Research is good, uh, ongoing. Refer to file blank for more. Barrier. Resonance feels a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appears ways to impede, escape, or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity, or destroy the hiss entities in the area. Resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fail or fall. Does an inactive sub uh, structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the his? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the his? To what degree is watching and planning? All oh. good questions. Oh, it's just a picture. We have pictures. We have pictures. The only person you should fail is yourself. So much is expected from the director. Responsibility, the privilege. Travel costs visited the following Nevada accommodations: Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Accommodation, meals, gasoline, mini bar. <laughs> the boys in research that performing rituals may help identify any place of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a, a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? For the record, I again request you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. Letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the portal services as undeliverable. 
Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connection to AWEs and other altered materials. Thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Singing fish. I called the police, but never come to my house. Got a problem, and you got to send folks, uh, folk to fix it. Got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says lots of cuss words. Oh, it's spooky. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely spelled incorrectly. Dwayne Barr. Yeah. Yeah. Fast travel. Okay. Fast travel. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Whoa, 80 kilobytes. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Huh. Uh, honestly, truly, it was because it was just towards the end. So, like, I didn't want to break up the reading too much because I'm trying to read through them kind of quickly. And so, because it was at the end of the thing, I felt more comfortable pointing it out the communications are on the right track I love this jumping animation going on here you know don't want me in there Ah. Oh, is that gonna grab it? Uh. 
It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Aha! Ha ha ha! It's time to play the game! God, that's satisfying. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. All right, so again, shield is very effective. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Why did I take so much damage all of a sudden? Did I do something bad? I think I did something stupid. I think I grabbed a bad thing. Something exploded on me. Wait, should I run back and try to get healed up here? Seems dangerous, but I'm gonna try. Oh wait, this isn't a heal spot like a lot of us. Fuck, there's another person. We're fine. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I might have. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking I did. <laughs> Yeah. It's time to play. Whoa. Where the fuck you come from? The hell? <laughs> Was that person tucked away in hiding? Don't wanna go. What is this? I don't think it's just gonna be a whatever. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Fuck, get out of here. Oh, I'm fucking crowded back up again.
Yeah, just having the weird constant chatter is unsettling. It's like I can tell they're saying words, but I'm like barely can pick it out. open the door. I think I can throw things at him. Unless I had to do it while he's while he's throwing things at me. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. trying to get health oh do you see what i'm trying to do though do you see them I'm, I'm like trying to i was like all right well that they have some health if i kill them and then a secret man popped up <laughs> if it wasn't for the secret man Fucking the, the, the hidden man. All right, I'm gonna worry at this. Some bad shots on my part. God, I wish I could throw things at him. It's too fast. I did the same thing. I, I did. Oh, what, dude? What? Why do I keep picking up things that just explode on me? What am I doing? I just want to like throw shit, and then it's like, bam. All right, third time's the charm. All right, I'm focusing on shooting this fucking boss. All right. Oh, 
covering. There's a guy coming at me. Me. Back the fuck up. Where are they shooting from? Where are they shooting from? There you are. Guys behind me. Oh my god. No way. Yep. Oh, look at him go. Should be past the mail room. Hotline chamber. Past the mail room. Battle summary. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular wall, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all that I didn't show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Man, are you still recording this? The hotline can't be far now. See what actual start button did. Rate of fire up, recoil, projectile spread, accuracy. Sure. Launch energy cost down. Energy recovery. Worse. 
Okay, so you can get s upgrades that are the same thing but different percentage. Like this one's just worse than that. So I would have to somewhat stay just barely slightly on top of that. See, demolition expert. Uh, Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosive and dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat solutions or situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variants to wield the specially built rocket propelled grenade designed to identify and track redacted entities once fired. Make them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the HIS restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who trains specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. Elevated. Agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in bureau para utilitarians some refer to cha charge the targets while others launch ar objects at them telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the hiss elevated due to their own talent in the area they don't use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities some hiss elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs this is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology how are they able to use paranatural abilities it is possible that these individuals were bound Objects of power prior to corruption. Also worth considering that the Hiss resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individual's corrupts. Okay, okay, okay. Ranger. Bureau's well trained and well armed expeditionary forces, their Hiss corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with bureau-made body armor. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some cap uh, some being protected by shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the his rangers are capable of uh, applying to their situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Is the his able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further, obs uh, further, what was it? Further observation. That's what I was trying to say. Well done, everyone. A strong campaign, perfectly executed. It's an ID. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the house of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to total blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. Searching the closet, an agent pulled light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. Light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident. That's strange. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to redact it. Yeah, I know. That's very funny thinking about it. They're like, hey, we got we to gotta replicate what just happened. Um, <laughs> do you mind pulling that as well? So another AWE behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank, blank, and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Don't see out. Book club notes. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. Best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and gun space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors to go around devouring plants like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brainworms? 
and space dogfight between those two ace pilots. Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined... Uh, what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed, not even halfway through the story, by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Two out of five. Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing. It's all my dream, a machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I'd use the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. It's just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine. <laughs> God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on my envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. On God. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full. This is the thing we listen to. It's just a little louder. Event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. Yeah. Okay. Hotline chamber. I made a god out of my toaster and my fridge door. But not the gods we all know about. A special god. Toaster god. Yeah, I, I really thought for a second it was making me face, face the boss again. I was like, uh, please no. I don't know, something just made me feel like I could just go. Here we go, we're gonna try that again. I missed what he was saying because I. Oh. Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream.
哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。I gotta ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the no bell. Hello, anyone here? Just ring it again for good luck. Oh, doors are opening. I see. set of keys as well. Ah, uh, why, why must I fall <laughs> multiple times? So strange. Contact extra dimensional. Ah, leave me alone. <laughs> Missing something here. I'll just keep running though. It's fine. to any typical network a direct line to the astral plane and the board and my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well a 
director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. All visitors must check in. Objects to be should be inaccessible for use except for the director. To the director, objects of 1960s era red backlight telephone rotary dial has been replaced with black knob of unknown purpose phone weighs whatever. The object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal something. Object is currently bound to director trench. Object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. Battery tests were run on the subject, including blank and blank, but its origin remains unknown. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the view home to a roadside motel and in the Ocean View Motel and Casino, discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals, locales of Mute have been attributed to the light switch cord. Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have been uh, have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the blank and blank sectors. It's all access Ocean View Motel. But how exactly this link operates is blank. Initial hypothesis center on view AWE has a blank blank. A blank blank. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered. We already had that one. What's all this? Oh, so these are all the things. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing, ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. <laughs> Just in case you want to rewatch these. It's a secure line of communication with the. <laughs> it's just. I don't know, there's something I really like about the presentation of this. Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. There's something... Strange. Oh, hey, it is the room that I thought that we could have walked through before, and now it's open. Would you take a look at that?
Well, would you look at that? So, um, I think the game, like, is supposed to, like, autosave and stuff. I'm pretty sure. So we'll call it there for the night. Um, as I said at the start of this, expect quite a bit of control streams throughout this week to try to put like a shit ton of time, uh, especially like this weekend and everything. Uh, probably also Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow, I think I want to check out. I always are, end up trying to say Detroit, but it's not Detroit. Michigan. Uh, what's it called? Michigan Report from Hell. I believe it's called. Uh, that's going to be a goofy time. Um, you have no idea what that game is. That's uh, going to be a completely unserious uh, playthrough. Um, so, yeah. Expect that. Tomorrow is what the idea is. Wednesday being yeah, probably more control. Just hit that again. And then, and then we'll see what we want to do for Friday. Did I finish Chapter 7? I did. Higurashi Chapter 7 is done. Um, so yeah, we'll call it there. We'll call it there. Unsuccessful World of Horror run. Unfortunate, but I'm very interested in control here. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into the vibes this game is giving. It's a little weird, but I think it's like a good kind of weird. So we will, why, why was there like a red light? What was that? Oh, it's like, oh, it's things coming in and out of the pipe, or, but I don't know what the red, well, I think there's some red, red objects. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, until then, take it easy.